this is not the first A-lister to go through this. I would say that he is, however, the first A-lister Cameroon artist, producer, you know, creator to come out. I mean, I can imagine the heart. I can imagine the, the decision to do that because this man was, man, the walls were closing in. And to think that is from a fellow Cameroonian. Bro, if you it, see me in the streets, better holler at me. Seeking for a beat, throw them dollars at me. I don't like the feet, take that away from me. You trying to be like me, you couldn't handle my story. But we gon' let you know, we gon' let you know. We gon' let you know, we gon' let you know. Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing, man? It's your boy, Mr. J, aka Kwame Boy, a bong boy, a day cooling, a day while you do come on, a pee boy, yes, buzzing, a man, no man, dash it, boy, man. Look, thank you for coming through, man. Uh, disclaimer this right here, this is a non musical reaction. You feel me? Um, there's something that we are supposed to talk about, which I had to do, but I've been busy with day, man, so uh, we're going to talk about that today. And this is particularly for the Cameroonian music industry. My 237 artists and the industry, if you want to pay attention to what I'm about to say, managers, PR, whatever management team member of any Cameroonian artist today, upcoming or A-listers, Pay attention to what I'm about to say right now because the information that I'm going to give, what I'm going to talk about on this vlog is going to help you tomorrow. So, before we get started, please help support the channel. You feel me? You don't have to donate any money, but you just have to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so that YouTube can, you know, show this vlog to more people. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, you people know that Mr. J is not any stranger to talking about my home industry and uh for the past four years i mean for the past one and a half year i've not spoken much about the industry but four years i've been talking and i've been trying to give that brutal honesty about the 237 industry I'm, i've been trying to to paint the picture as it is so that to my opinion i thought that these people will sit up and will understand and of course, you cannot, you know, say charity begins at home. So we are going to, you know, keep doing that ish, but I'm going to do it technically, you did. And uh, everything I've been saying, everything I said, most of the Cameroonian audience felt that I was hating on the industry, which is not actually the real ish, but the real people understood what I was trying to do. Fast forward to today, man. Um, we are going to revisit the whole situation with a Cameroonian artist who was on tour in Europe and uh, a little intense moment of court. Now ladies and gentlemen, um, today we are going to talk about the Phil Bill saga, you feel me? And uh, Phil Bill, man, for all my Nigerian, Ghanaian, South African, Sierra Leonean, Kenyan, man, motherland across the globe, Caribbean, Phil Bill is um is a dope producer slash artist slash creator man. This brother um he's done out he's tuned out great great different brand of music which has been making wave in Cameroon and across French speaking Africa. And this brother has I mean he's he's been he's been a different kind of brother. He moves differently with the industry with his content and how he goes about coming up with, with, with music and songs, man. He blends the, the folklore, the, the dope back Makosa vibe, you know, from Cameroon, and he infuses that to the present time. So this brother, man, had a situation in Europe, and uh, it's not any news that uh, Cameroonian artists have been going out this summer for tours. I said tours because you guys know where I stand regarding this little little ballroom party occasions you know the Cameroonian communities you feel me but yeah he they've been going out so this brother went out to Europe and uh normally what happens is people organize 
uh, Cameroonians out in the diaspora, Europe, uh, Asia, uh, North America, they organize shows. But the thing is, some of these shows are not really transparent. Some of these organizers are dubious. You feel me? They don't live up to certain things. Now, they organized um, a tour and they invited this brother. This brother went to Europe and he did a couple of shows and he realized that what was the original plan is not what it was. Now, before we keep going any further, man, let's, you know, some of these organizers, like I said, are being very dubious. So this lady, but she's a Cameroonian based in France, she goes by the name Rosette Loy. Sounds like a Douala Sour name to me, but Sour Douala. And she owns uh, Newell Entertainment. Of course, you people must have heard a whole lot of Cameroonians speak out about the situation, especially whilst uh, uh, the great Vals of Roe and everything and stuff like that. But yes, this lady, Rosette Loy, she's based in France. She's the owner of Naval Entertainment, so she brought this brother into Europe and this brother quickly realized that, uh, you know, it, it's really not what it, the, 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 paint, the picture that they painted is not what it is. So this brother returned to Cameroon and this brother was like, man, you know, if you guys are bringing me out here, you're supposed to have these shows aligned. You feel me? So he returned home. But then, being home, man, they contacted his brother again. And mind you, this sister, Rosette Lower, she's working with an accomplice. He goes by the name Silva Ebele. That brother is based in Douala, Cameroon, I think. And they work hand in glove, man, the dubious team. So, for some reason, this brother, you know, he, he, he returned to Europe after a whole lot of talking and convincing this brother returned to Europe. Now, this is when situations got really, really, really bad. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, come in. Two, three, seven, pay attention. This brother had a contract with this lady and um, this contract is actually about to phase out. You feel me normally, you know, some of these People booking agencies that bring artists, take them out of Cameroon to do shows, man. You know, you, you sign a contract. I mean, if you don't sign a contract, you are definitely gonna be effed. So this brother went back. He, came, he returned because this lady, for some reason, she managed to again paint another picture. To this brother that she has booked a couple of shows. So this brother, of course, he needs to work. The man get for finding money, the man get for make some bread because he get responsibilities, you feel me? So this brother went back again. I mean, mind you, out of his pocket, this brother is paying his trips. You feel me? Because what I'm giving you is, you know, is, 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 is accuracy. I'm not here to give you the kind of information which people say, oh, they wanted him to sleep with the bond. Now, this is not what we are here for, but it's good for social media, like, you know, Mr. Vasa wrote did, but ladies and gentlemen, this brother went back and um, the second time he went back to Europe, this man quickly realized that nothing has changed. Shit hasn't changed. It was just a farce. It was just another dubious lie to get this brother out there. No, she managed to put a couple of more shows together for this brother. And like the first time, not every show came to fruition. So this brother realizing this whole ish, this whole mess, and having been told that you know, there's not a whole lot of money to, to, to keep and sustain the brother, the brother like, you know what, I'm going to take care of my, my feeding and my everything. You feel me? But you have to get off the show. You cannot lie to me about it. So this brother was kind of like frustrated. So brother was hanging, you know, he didn't know exactly what was going on. Now this brother decided that, you know what, I'm going to head back home. I'm going to leave the apartment, head back home, you know, and with his manager, of course, uh, you know, it's best for me. I think this was just a waste of my time. And um, the whole, the evil part of this whole Fiorian thing is, we are in 2023. And having said that, 
Of course, this brother has a whole lot of messages regarding this whole situation about ending a contract, like the contract coming to an end with uh, Naval Entertainment, with Miss Rosette Lowe and Mr. Silva Bennett. You feel me? But these people, you know, you know, they had other things in mind. I'm talking about, you know, these evil Cameroonians out there, these kleptomaniacs who just try to strive on and feed on, you know, upcoming struggling Cameroon artists' behalf, their talent, their careers, decided that, you know what? We are going to pull out a different card. We are going to stop him from going back to Cameroon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is when it got really, 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 really bad, really evil. So, Ms. Rosette Louie, uh, you know, she called up this man's Phil Bill's manager. Of course, Phil Bill was chilling, he was resting, you know what I mean? The passport, but he kept his passport somewhere, and, and I, I'm still going to ask my brother Phil Bill, man, bro, how come your passport was in the position of uh, your manager? But we are going to come back to that after. So, brother told me he was chilling, you know, he was resting, and... The manager took this guy's passport upon the request from Miss Rosette Lewis and Newa Entertainment that they want to do what we call uh, uh, a declaration, uh, declaration de domicile. Of course, you have to declare where you at. So that the manager didn't think anything evil. Like, okay, we are going to, you know, I'm just going to do it because oh, I'm his manager, you know, maybe it's good for him to, you know, you have to declare, man, Europe has, they have laws, man, you have to follow them. visa regulations and, and bylaws, you have to uh, work with that. So she gave this brother's passport without the brother's knowledge. But of course, as a manager and in entertainment, your manager sometimes can act on your behalf. Now, what the manager didn't know was that that was all a lie. It was all fake. The reason, the motive that they gave for uh, declaration, declaration de, de domicile, that was lie, residency declaration. That was a big lie. So these folks took this man's passport, and this man waited for his passport. You know, the manager told him, man, he was furious because normally your your passport is like a personal. Personal property, you cannot, you know, somebody cannot keep it, you know, it's, it's a crime. This man asked for his passport over and over, but they refuse to give him his passport intentionally. It's kind of like what we see with what happens with human trafficking. I don't know if these Naval Entertainment people understood. I don't know if they knew that that was a crime against humanity to do something like to keep somebody's passport that's like you know it's, 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 it's a big issue legal issue with it they refuse to give him you know and they started playing ping pong he will call Brazil Brazil will say this way he call this way. you know that kind of like that funny game the funny game you no know, it's not with me it's with them it's not with them it's with you know just just burning and wasting your time of course this brother was desperate this brother was in a situation where he never understood what to do. He didn't know exactly what he was supposed to do. After trying to get his passport, you know, this brother now, you know, like threatened these guys, Newell Entertainment, look, I'm going to go to the authorities so that you guys can give me my passport so I can go back home. These people in a counter attack, the counter steps they put out a communicate trying to sabotage this brother now i know that some of our Cameroonians in the two-sided country french speakers and of course these brother rosette louis and uh silva Bella, no world entertainment is you know owned by our friend phone called the back so they know how to sabotage people this is a technique that they've learned from assimilation association you know that policy if you did African history, Cameroonian history, you will understand. So they try to tarnish this brother's image by putting out that communicate which did nothing but just worsen the situation. Now my, my problem is this, ladies and gentlemen, if you have somebody's passport and they don't want your contract with this and person is, is about to come to an end, why not try to renegotiate amicably? Why would you use all of these funny kind of, you know, maybe they thought that they were in Cameroon where money, you press money left and right, and you know, police, the judiciary system can sway away. So this brother actually went to the authorities 
to the police and they started calling him and he actually with the authorities linked the Cameroon embassy which is man applaud the Cameroon embassy for doing this and the Cameroon embassy started calling these people give his passport you know the same ping pong it's not with me it's with that guy it's not with it is you know that whole childish mindset of trying to you know just return this man's passport and nothing would happen so this brother being an a-lister entertainer from Cameroon and he was like man this man just he gathered all the courage Phil Bill did that and he put out a video he put out a vlog explaining the whole situation and they Newell Entertainment, Rosette and Silva Ebede did not believe that this whole mess would go off like this and a whole lot of Cameroonians are talking about it the Cameroon embassy called you know and to cut the long story short, this guy started feeling the heat. They were not believing that this whole mess of trying to sabotage this brother would end up like this. But mind you, this brother is a popular artist. He's very talented, he's smart. You feel me? He knows exactly what it is that he wants out of his career. So they told him to come back. The Cameroonian embassy is going to issue him a laissez passer, a document that he can fly back home. And uh, being an alien, ladies and gentlemen, I will say this, from all of this situation, this is not the first A-lister to go through this. I will say that he is, however, the first A-lister Cameroon artist, producer, and, you know, creator to come out. I mean, I can imagine the heart. I can imagine the, the decision to do that because this man was... And the walls were closing in. And to think that is from a fellow Cameroonian. Bro, it, it, uh, the bells, alarm bells are supposed to be ringing. Now, I would say this and, uh, as an aside to this whole Phil Bill phony situation. Is this. Remember there was a time I had, uh, you know, there was Cameroonian called it beef. It was not a beef. The situation I had with TZ Panchak. That's all, that's water under the bridge. It's not, it's not, a, it's not an insult. But I sent out the vlog saying that this brother didn't come on stage to perform when I was there because of a problem with the organizers. They did not pay this brother's money. And I told this brother, go back and watch it, that he should put them on blast because I knew about the whole people who organized that show for Mr. TZ Patrick. The same situation applies to Mr. Phil Bill. Now, this is my take. This is how I'm going to end this vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, 237 artists, record label, whatever you want to call yourself, entertainment entities, do not, up and coming artists, up, a list, do not be, be sold on the whole notion of, oh, they are inviting me. They want me to come do a show in Canada, America, Europe. You feel me? Do not be enticed by all the flyers. Or so they will say, okay, we are going to do uh, 16 shows. Okay, you are going to earn maybe a thousand dollars per show because that is how much some of you guys make. Less. A far stretch is if you earn more than two thousand US dollar per show. I'm talking about those who come to the US to do shows. You can argue all you want, but this is that no. Do not be so like in your mind you'll be like, man, I see Texas, I see uh, I see Houston, I see Dallas, I see Austin, I see uh, uh, Baltimore, I see you are so thinking that that is actually what is going to happen. But this is the secret though, I will tell you. I suppose that is inside, but I'm on the down low key observing. That ish is for the embassy to see that you really got shit that's gonna pop. They might give you, put a fire out. I keep seeing all these fires, they're gonna do 20 shows. When you get there, man, you will not do up to 10. God bless you if you do up to five. And if you do up to five, up to 10, or if you do all the shows, I highly doubt if they're going to pay you 2000 per show. Now, this is the brutal honesty. This is not hate. So, up and coming, coming artists, the agents, please speak up. If you don't speak up like Mr. Phil Bill did, 
The masses are not going to know how to react. We got to get these people in line, man. I've been trying to be brutally honest with my two, three, seven audience, but you guys keep thinking I'm a hater. No, speak up. When you leave Cameroon, you go to the US, to Canada, to Europe. If, if, man, before you leave, take 50% of your money. Sign a contract that is binding. Keep that contract. These are Cameroonians living abroad. You feel me? You can sue them. Of course, a couple of years ago, I did a vlog and I talked about Cameroonian artists, you need to set up yourself properly. Of course, you guys, you know, like, you know, Kosi once said, he's a one-man army for everything. You are your own DJ, you are your own people. You are, no, bro, set yourself up properly. If you are talented and you have that passion, people will rotate, people will come around you. You don't have to pay, but people will see the vision in you. Sign that contract, take your upfront money, and if you get there and you see, you should know, man, track your shit. Do not be happy, say, oh, I did go Bush, oh, I did go Bundes, oh, you know, just, you know, I did go Canada. No, bro, bro. That's why I said a couple of months ago, some of these Korean artists, just go out. You guys are artists on, on a tourism perspective. You guys are not out there to actually push your, your career to the, to, the, to the outer world. That's why some of you have been going out and nothing has changed with your careers. Nothing. Majority of your A-listers in Cameroon have not changed. Back in the days, Makosa legends went out. You know what they went out for? When they went to France, to Europe, and they connected with producers, producing houses for a better sound production, a better this, a better, but you guys just go there to take pictures and, you know, you know gloat online on your social media pages. That's not the purpose of you going out. Now tell me, all of these artists in the past 10 years that I've been going out, I'm talking about these new school artists, how many of you have put down Good structures in Cameroon. Talk about houses, land, business. I'm talking about major real estate properties. Zero. Look at what legends have done, man. Oh, check or talk about the TP. No, that is what I'm trying to say. Make sure you get your money right. And when you get to that country, bro, you are protected by certain laws. Ensure that if they say you have 15 shows in a country. After the first one, ask about the next show. After the second show, ask about the third show. Ask for your 50%. Always, if you don't know, go if they try to play some dirty games, go to the police, like Mr. Phil Bill did. Did, man, ladies and gentlemen, that's my take, Movelin. I need you guys to chime in, because it seems as if everything Mr. J was saying back in the days, people just saw it as, hey, but underneath my brutal honesty, there's love. But you guys cannot say it. I'm not going to sit there and explain always to you people. That's my take. Well, I'm going to update you guys on the whole situation, man. I will talk to my man, Phil Bills, man, my brother. Take heart. I hope so. You don't really go about for B, but bro, let's talk. Make we talk, man. I'm trying to set up certain things, but hey, it's, 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 it's a long-term project. But let's talk, my brother. All the best to you, Mr. Phil Bill. When you go back home, my brother, I guess until I want me to do me work on, we go think about it together, man. That's my time, man. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like, give us a thumbs up, give a comment, and please ensure that you share this page so that we can talk about it. So to Mrs. Rosette Louis and Silva Ebene, man, we are going to come for you. You feel me? The industry and the audience media will come for you. Today, peace.